Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so in the spirit of uh, quarantine and working from home, I thought uh, that this time I'll post something that I usually don't do on my channel. And this is, uh, I'm joined here by my beautiful girlfriend, Valentine, hi. say hi. Hi. And what we'll be doing is, uh, I'm going to ask my non-technical, non-programming girlfriend uh, a series of uh, programming questions, simple stuff for us who do this kind of thing. And I'm going, we are going to see how much of these questions she can do. We've not prepared or anything. Um, and uh, we've agreed that if she answers more than half of the questions, then we are going to have a part two of this video in which uh, she's going to ask me as a programmer uh, questions about business and fashion, uh, interior design and the likes, and we'll see who will come out winning. Okay, so Valentine, I'm going to ask you about 10 questions. Okay. And uh, I want you to answer me, even if you don't know something, just explain. Okay, I'll okay. try. So the first question, mm -hmm. um, you've had uh, engineers talking about the cloud, and uh, we usually say we are pushing our code to the cloud. Uh -huh. What is the cloud? <laughs> <laughs> a cloud is a, a storage somewhere in the internet <laughs> where, you, where you can store your stuff and then you are able to share with a lot of people, right? Okay, uh, I'm going to give her that one. It's uh, true. It's, it's almost so. Uh, cloud is a cloud is a is a series of computers mm -hmm. uh, all of, distributed all over the world mm -hmm. that people use amongst for many reasons. Amongst them is storage. Okay. But they can also be used for other things. But I'll give you it's close enough. Okay. It's, uh, it's that. The second question is. Uh, uh, I'm going to give you a list of programming languages mm -hmm. and I want you to tell me which one is not a programming language. So C, mm -hmm. C++, mm -hmm. uh, C minus, uh -huh. and uh, C sharp. C minus. C minus is a grid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay, obviously I'm not asking hard questions. Okay. So that question, uh, there are two types of hackers. So we usually say there's black hat hackers and there's white hat hackers. What, what do you think is the difference between those two types of hackers? So the black hackers are the ones who go to the deep black web where okay. it's illegal. Okay. They do illegal stuff, right? Okay. And then the white ones are these normal ones who can hmm. hack into a normal computer. I think the dark ones hack into like big computer company databases with Almost. a lot of information. Almost, okay. And white hat? Those are hackers. Ordinary hackers. Ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, close Ordinary enough. I, I, I'm not sure if I should give you that one. I so, no, I won't close. give you that one. Why? So, Wait, and, let me try. and every time you get by there, I'm forgetting, every time you answer something correct, I'm going to put a notification ting here okay. on this top, okay. top, top so corner. So the, the, the dark ones mm. are the ones who hack vital information almost in, yes in large companies that is confidential that okay is almost almost yes what the white ones white? they they have to get just little information like somebody who hacks your social media account see that's a white hacker no so i think guys i'm going to give a half a po half a point i i didn't want to give half half point so okay so you got almost got it for black hat so black hat are people who hack illegally whether oh, it's something little with this legal hacking yes yeah, so white hat hackers they are hackers who let's say if you're working at a company you hack your own things legally to see if for security purposes oh, okay. so you test intrusion you test your own security so because you do it legally under your own something that you own mm. that is called white hat hacking oh, okay I never but i'll give you half a thing. point so right now you are how many points? Two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> okay. Uh, the third question. There's, there's something called test-driven development. What do you think that is? Test-driven test -driven development or test-driven development of software. What do you think that is? Guy, Aki, Woi, Guy, test-driven. That is trying to, um, when you code or yeah. program, yeah. And then you try it to see whether it's working. Almost. Again, I don't want to do, give you half a point. Let me try. Next. So let me give you a hint. You've gotten the first part. 
but the second one is called driven. What do you think that means? Test driven development. Oh, so when you try your own coding, yes, that is personal. Yes. <laughs> And then you try, you test drive to see whether it will work. It's just like when you buy a car and then you have to test drive. Test drive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I won't thing. give you this for half. So <laughs> test driven development uh, is where when you're writing program, uh -huh. you start with test first. Okay. Oh. Then you write the program. So if you are like writing a program to add two numbers, uh -huh. you first write, there's something we call tests. Uh -huh. You write the test to pass, then you write the actual program. Oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. Let's go to the list. I think those are the, the ones which are passing. Mm -hmm. So there are things in uh, programming we call uh, data structures. Mm -hmm. So for example, when you're using an Excel file, you have like names of people, you have uh -huh. numbers, mm -hmm. you have like currencies, mm -hmm. you have like, um, you can put like all sort of things there mm -hmm. or even like things like true or false. Yeah? Okay. So I'm going to give you a list of data structures mm -hmm. and you need to tell me which one is not. So a list, uh -huh. a dictionary, uh -huh. uh, an intersect, uh -huh. and a linked list. An intersect. <laughs> an intersect. <laughs> okay, that's correct. Okay, obviously I'm not asking hard questions. Okay. So we are question number. I've lost count. Maybe six. Okay, I'll just say the ones I know. Mm -hmm. So in programming, mm -hmm. uh, okay. So in programming, mm -hmm. there are these things we call frameworks. Mm -hmm. The abstractions on top of a language that help us better write the language. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a list of frameworks and mm -hmm. you're supposed to tell me which one is not a framework. Okay. So Django, mm -hmm. Flask, mm -hmm. um, React, mm -hmm. and uh, Cucumber. Cucumber. <laughs> oh, it's a lot. Are you sure? Cucumber is not. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. okay, that's correct. I think, okay, uh, that's correct. So I, I you guess I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not asking very difficult questions. Again, no, you're just freestyling. See, just okay, so uh, the next question, uh, what is GitHub? If you've been following my tutorial series, you know what Git what is GitHub. GitHub? Yeah. So coding website. Oh. <laughs> Okay, it's okay so it's website. okay. It's, that's half the, the answer. It's a coding website. That, Where that's what, yeah. you can share your code with <laughs> other programmers, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, uh, I think I've already lost this. Um, we are in question number. I've lost Sorry, count, so I'm going to ask two more questions. And then uh, whatever happens. So, uh, which other question do I need to ask you? Okay. No, I think. Let me just ask you a final question because I think you've already won. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, which is the best website to learn programming in Kenya? <laughs> Yours. What? Don't say mine. What is oh, it called? Oh, your name. Yeah. The the Kenyan engineer. Okay, right? ask the people to subscribe. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and then share with your friends. Keep safe. Keep safe, okay. Wash your hands, sanitize, okay. <laughs> maintain social distance. Most of the programmers never leave their house. They probably... Yeah, one meter distance, actually. <laughs> <laughs> to... No, I see, one okay. Meter. okay. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like. And uh, wait for part two of the series. Okay, uh, I hope I won't be asked a lot of hard questions, and I it hope to pass. Hard. It will be gully. <laughs> I'm surprised how many stuff you know. I thought that you never follow like my stuff. No, okay. see, sometimes when I'm bored, I just learn. Though I don't know that jungle and is hard. I think. <laughs> no, jungle is the easiest. Okay, so guys, uh, remember to subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be dropping new videos on uh, the React Native series that we are doing, and hopefully, now that I have a lot of time, I will also be doing a lot of live streaming. And I hope to finish up all the work that was lagging uh, from my previous playlist. Again, as always. Like, subscribe, share. See you Bye. in the next one. Bye.